Evening, everybody. It's great to see you all out here for the celebration tonight. I'm going to talk to you tonight about the first 15 season and uh, shed some light on the highlights and lowlights for us as a group this year. Coming into this year, we had a pretty tough act to follow after last year's successes. Uh, first 15 last year, managed to finish fifth overall, which is the uh, tie the college's best finish ever. But even so, we had a good group of experienced players, complimented by some young talent that were all keen to do well. Um, our journey began with a pre-season trip to Mount Park Retreat, where we spent two nights. This is the time for us to bond together as a group, but also start developing some structure. It was a very memorable experience for all of us, as it was snowing throughout the three days, so we were training at about 30 odd centimetres of snow the whole time, so it's pretty cool. The final result of the season though was not as great as we had hoped. We finished 11th place, losing in a tight semi-final to Timaru Boys in the bowl playoffs. There were many games this season where we came off second best in tight contests. Games against Lincoln, Sydney, Shirley, Rangiura, all examples of this. If we were able to win even just some of these close encounters, our final result could have been very different. I'd now like to share some highlights and lowlights for us as a group that made this season a memorable. I'll start some of the lowlights this year. The first would be missing out on the top eight finish in a game against Mongol Boys. We just weren't able to play nearly as well as what we would have liked for this game, especially in the second half. Another disappointing time for us this season was our game against Nelson. This was a particularly special game because it was a Meister Cup challenge. That's basically, the, for those who don't know, the Grand Furley Shield of schoolboy rugby in New Zealand. It was a pretty big occasion. And, um, we were up 11-10 at half time, but we weren't quite able to keep them out in the second half, which did to score a couple of tries. And the final score, I believe, was 25-11. But in my opinion, I think it's one of the best games we've played with the group. The boys showed heaps of character on defense to stop their big runners. Yeah. But most of all, the saddest time for us this year would have been losing the Pussy Color boys. Both uh, Francis and Putty, along with their families, moved up to Wellington part of the season. Yeah, we missed them hugely out in the field and in the round school. Now for some highlights for us this year. Beating one year college 44-10 and Timaru Boys High 24-5, both great achievements. These were both teams we lost to in the previous year, so it was great to be each other these guys in those games. I remember Mr. Barclay saying after the Timaru game that it's probably one of the best performances he's ever seen from a, a STC person team. So that's pretty awesome to hear. Our biggest highlight this year was beating St Andrews, who as a school we've been able to beat them in the first event. 2009. It was a hard fought game for both sides, but we managed to get the win from a try through Tapu right on full time. So, yeah, it made for a pretty good finish to that one. But one personal highlight for me was the game against Smith Canterbury. We had a convincing win over there, 51 8. But the part that I liked the best about this game was the way the younger boys in the team really stepped up and took control. As a senior member of the side, that was really rewarding to see that game. I'd now just like to take a moment to say thank you to the coaches. Mr. Barclay, Mr. Bird, and Johnny. You guys have been awesome this year. We really appreciate all the time you give up away from your families to grow us as rugby players, but also as young men. I'd also like to say thank you to Bigsy. Bigsy is basically the engine of the first 15 Harris and Thomases. Without him, we couldn't have been in this competition. We really appreciate all the work you do behind the scenes. Um, I'd like to finish by leaving you boys with a couple of messages taken to next season and the years to come. First, I'd like to say that rugby can be so much more than just a game. Yes, it's great fun to bring a run about with your mates, but it can have so many other valuable lessons, so many other benefits on top of that. The seven years I've played rugby ECC have taught me many valuable lessons that have helped make me who I am today. And I'm sure I can say the same thing for all my year 13 brothers who are leaving this year with me. So I ask that you continue to love playing rugby for ECC, but also to help let your rugby help shape your overall character as a person. And finally, I'd like to leave the rest of you boys with a challenge to become part of the STC First 15 legacy. When I look around this hall, I don't see a single boy who isn't capable of being in the First 15. All you need is that want to get there. Because trust me, boys, this is an experience you'll never forget. <laughs>